The hangar of HMS Queen Elizabeth, surprisingly quiet for an aircraft carrier that's about to set off on a three-month deployment. With just a few hours to go here at the naval base in Portsmouth, there appears to be no last-minute panic. For the last two weeks, it's been almost round the clock. Um, just we, As I say, we have 750 uh, a ship's company, but of course that swells to 1,500 once we embark all of the air wing with the various helicopters and the F-35 jets. And it's not just the aircraft, clearly the stores, all the technical equipment to support them, uh, those, those uh, guys and girls that move the, the, the jets around the deck, the air engineers and munitions, all of those elements that have to come together in a sort of really complex jigsaw to make that capability work. Not least, of course, which everyone loves to hear about, all the stores in terms of food. Uh, and I think we've got something like 123,000 potatoes on board. HMS Queen Elizabeth deploying as part of the UK Carrier Strike Group. She'll head to the Norwegian and North Seas for interoperability training and defence engagement. It's about maintaining our own carrier strike group readiness. You know, the only way you can maintain readiness, capability and credibility is to be deployed and at sea and working the whole system through. Uh, the second part is to demonstrate to our closest partners and allies within Europe um, that we're, we're a credible uh, strike force that can dock into uh, them and work closely with them uh, in support of whatever's required. Um, now, of course, you know, we're about deterrence and we're about uh, a defensive organisation. Uh, but to be credible at both of those, you've got to be able to operate with your nearest uh, allies and partners. Uh, so this deployment will really bring that to life. And those allies and partners on this deployment will include Dutch, Belgian, Norwegian, German and French ships, as well as US, Swedish, Finnish and Norwegian aircraft. There'll be eight F-35s on board. So they will join us at the, right at the beginning of next week. The rotary assets will join us over the next 48 hours in um, various forms as we're sailing. Um, and then we will be a combined air group by the beginning of next week. For the next three months, this will be a place of work and relaxation for the crew. So my role on the deployment is pretty much looking after all health and well-being on board and just improving uh, the lives of everyone in a healthy way on ship. We run circuits every day, twice a day. Uh, we run multiple classes throughout the week, so a minimum of three classes, and that's anything from judo to weightlifting. We run two fitness tests a week, and we do like a fortnightly challenge where people can win prizes. The deployment of the 65,000 tonne aircraft carrier marks the second time the Royal Navy flagship has led an international carrier strike group. The first was during her deployment to the Indo-Pacific in 2021. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Portsmouth. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.